Well, the women should be encouraged to enter, first of all, because I would say there are growing opportunities for a career in cybersecurity. Uh, we have a, a lack of uh, experts, not only on cybersecurity, on the STEM section, sec but also in all the different sectors which are which will contribute to the digital transformation and securing the digital transformation. So, uh, and that's exactly one of the reasons why we have started in EXO this Women for Cyber initiative, uh, because we have seen already more than two years ago when the Com European Commission published the, uh, the statistics of the need for the future experts in this domain, uh, we have seen that without the contribution of women, we will statistically lack 50% of the need. So we said we have to do something on this and we have to promote the, the participation of women and, the, and, and their understanding how to, to contribute, which are not only, as I said, not only on the STEM sector, but all in the different uh, sector, let me say, which can contribute to our society, to our life, with a better uh, help, uh, with uh, help in, in, in getting this uh, uh, technology and digital transformation right. Uh, Cybersecurity, I think it's, um, it's appealing for everybody, for men and for women. For women, maybe it could be interesting also because, uh, in particular, because the, you don't need to be uh, in a factory. Maybe if you have your family life, if you have kids, a young age and so on, you can maybe more easily work from home and, and do a certain kind of activities supporting cybersecurity. So for women, uh, even if they have a very interesting career, it could be period of their life when they, when they need to be a bit more close to the family, let me say, uh, and, but cybersecurity is allowing this kind of, uh, let's say, a temporary uh, kind of activity or remote, remote activity, let me say. So from that point, otherwise I would say I don't make any di real difference between men and women. They are both a very interesting career in cybersecurity. Well, that, that's something also, one of the issues that uh, it pushed me to, 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 to work in this, uh, let's say, the women for cybersecurity approach, because uh, I realized that the, as seen from my point of view as a man, what are the reasons I was giving why women should start thinking about cybersecurity from the very young age are different from that of, uh, of another women I was discussing to, uh, who, is, uh, who is the deputy dean in uh, Politecnico di Milano, and the arguments we were brought in for what are, 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 were different. And, uh, and so I think that the, we have to have really the arguments from men and for women that are working together, trying to give this good reason how, why to participate and also having men and women working together because they have different approaches, even in threat in, in looking at the threats. Uh, I'm sure that I would that what I've seen and what I heard, uh, for instance, when you when you have some exercise capture the flag and so on, the combination of women and men, they have they are tr dealing with different kind of aspects, and the complementarity of the two is successful. So the reason why. You, 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 have, uh, you can ask girls or women to participate in cybersecurity. I think that the two different reasons can be brought with good uh, arguments, both from men and from women. And I think we, that's what we are looking for.